Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our back, work on our upper back mostly. I wanted to focus a little bit more on up my upper back to get it a little bit more wider, more defined. So let's start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, the usual before we begin any work. Dynamic stretching is most important to ensure we have the right mobility. Make sure you put in a couple more of dynamic stretching if required. If you feel the necessity in any of the joints wherein you have a little bit of tightness or restriction. Cardio, as always, is absolutely optional. A five minute cardio to get your heartbeat up is more than it's sufficient. After completing the greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat, wherein we sit in a deep squat, body weight for at least maybe 15 to 20 seconds that's more than sufficient if you want you can even sit in that position for even a minute it's no harm done absolutely good for your hips your ankle mobility here if for any reason your heels start raising up that means there's ankle restriction so you need to work on calf tightness or ankle mobility for my first exercise i'm going to start with bent over rows i have done four sets of these 15 repetitions in the first set then 10 then six and six repetitions wherein I went heavy. To start off with, I started with an empty bar. So this doesn't count as a working set. It's just like a warm up where I was trying to figure out the right amount of depth I want to travel, the right posture. I always bend down by pushing my glutes. Basically, I'm hinging by pushing my glutes far behind. Feel a good stretch in my hamstrings. And once I'm there, I start rowing. So for the first set, take a weight which you can control, go slow about it. Always release your shoulders completely. Let the weight completely go down, stretch out your entire upper back and from there, pull it back to your chest, mid-abdominal region actually. Never fix your shoulders because there you are losing a little bit of growth as you can see here. Yes, my arms go a little bit flaring out because of the way I am holding it, forearm grip. Underarm grip will bring it a little bit closer, but I prefer to do it overarm grip because usually when I do underarm grip, my bicep gets worked out a lot more. Overarm grip works fine for me. So that's for our bent over rows. The next exercise, we are going to do lat pull downs, an excellent exercise to ensure the wideness and also the proper definition of our upper back. Now, Yes, I always face challenge with this particular equipment available in our gym. For some reason, I feel a lot more activation in my biceps. I don't know if it's a way that is set up or because of the uh, restricted movement it has. Because it's not a cable, so I can't move it. It moves in a singular path. I can't adjust it according to my wish. But please do do it or perform this exercise if you have a cable lat pull down. Do it as I'm showing here. Complete release of your your scapula and then complete pull back your elbow should be driving back into your hips to get the maximum amount of contraction and you can see how my back is working here opening up like wings and getting down and going into a complete contraction we always lead with our elbows we push our elbows into our hips for my next exercise i am going to do high raises basically on an incline bench just put yourself up an incline bench take a couple of dumbbells you can strap them up so that you don't have to worry about gripping them hard. Now do high raises by flaring your elbows beside your shoulders so that your mid trap and your upper traps are doing the majority of work in terms of getting the weight high up. Make sure your elbows are beside you. If the elbows start coming in, start tucking in, that's again just similar to a rowing action. So it is necessary to keep your elbows out high. If you feel any kind of restriction of pain in your shoulder that means there is a little bit of mobility issue you would need to warm up really well because this movement actually causes the ball and socket joint to get extremely tight so make sure you row properly here is a better view how i get my elbows flaring out and how i work my mid traps and upper traps to get a little bit more definition out of my upper back that was the objective of today's exercise any which ways after completing the high rows for my next exercise, just one more thing. Make sure the incline is not too much that 
it becomes a little bit, uh, I would say, you need to have the gravity pulling you down. Yes, coming back to the next exercise, we are going to do back extensions. This is the same setup which I have uh, used last time. Since I don't like the regular extension uh, setup, I prefer to do it on an inclined bench wherein I put myself in reverse on an inclined bench with my hips at the end point and then a little bit of resistance band on my legs and start raising them. Notice how I just get into a straight line. I don't overextend my back, just getting it straight using my glutes and my hamstrings and contracting my lower back. The resistance is also not much. The resistance tube I'm using here is just, I think, 15 kilos resistance, but it changes as we knot it and change it. But otherwise, it's not extreme amount of resistance. And that's it for today. We are going to finish off with rack pulls, three sets, as many repetitions as possible. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is appreciated. Now for static stretching, you can simply hang on the rack, pull up itself, stay there hanging and you will create a good amount of stretch in your lat muscles. Otherwise, you can also do other static stretches which I have shown you previously. Have a good day.